Hi there, this is Danny Sloan from the Utah Education Network. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Flipgrid with your students. Now, Flipgrid is a great tool where your students can see you and you can see them. You can ask them questions or have them present an idea or a topic, and it can all be done asynchronously, meaning at different times, but they can still see everyone. So let's check it out. All right, I've come to flipgrid.com and you can see up in the right upper corner that there's an educator sign up. So if you've never signed up for Flipgrid before, that's where you're going to want to go. And you can use your existing Microsoft account or Google account. Now I've already signed up, so I'm going to click on educator login and it's just going to log me in. Now you can see I've made a few different flip grids. I'm going to show you my latest one. This is where I've asked my colleagues what their favorite tool in Utah's online library was. So I'm going to come down here. This is the topic underneath the grid. So you can have more than one topic. Um, for example, if you were talking about a book that you were all reading, you could have one for chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. That makes sense. And then you can see my instructions and then a little introduction. Hello all, thank you for participating in this Flipgrid. So I just wanna know, what is your favorite resource in Utah's online library? Now I can see who has participated, when they participated. And if I come up here and click on the flip code, I'm going to see little pictures of all of the people that participated. Now I can watch them one at a time. I can add another one. I can do them in a slideshow or I can go through them randomly. Let's just click and see what they look like. Hi, I'm Michael from UEN. And I would have to say that right now, my favorite tool in Utah's online library um, would be the Gale in Context um, <laughs> database. And Thanks, specific... Michael. We'll go to the next one. Hey, everyone. My favorite tool in Utah's online library is in Thinkfinity and it's called Wonderopolis. One of the features that I really like in Utah's online library is using the Gale opposing viewpoints. It's great. You get the idea. So now we're going to go through and we're going to make a new flip grid. So I'm going to close this tab. I'm going to come right back here and I'm going to go back to the home screen. So now I'm going to add a new grid. Now you're going to title this. So I'm going to say Friday check-in. And then depending on who this is for, you um, can do either a school email. So if students are have a school email, um, like at yourschooldistrict.org, they could use that to log in or you could create a list of students, or you can make one that's public. So if you're using it with adults, especially who don't have the same email address at the end, you can do public in PLC. So I'm gonna do school email because I think that's what you'll most likely use. And you can create your own flip code. It'll assign you one that's usually your last name with a number, but if it's available, like Sloan check-in, it's available so I can use that kind of vanity URL. Now I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then it's going to say, okay, so we know this is the end of your email address. Is there any other ones that you want to add? Okay. That works for me. And then it says, congrats, your grid is ready. So now I'm going to go to my grid. Oh, first you can embed it. You can share it to Teams, Google Classroom, or on Remind, or just share this URL. So now I'm going to go to my grid and I'm going to make a new topic. Now it always has this say hello on Flipgrid first saying um, for people to introduce themselves and say one fact about them. You can either use that or you can come over here to actions and just delete it. Yep. I just want to delete it. That's fine. Now I'm going to add a new topic. My topic is going to be managing stress. How are you managing stress right now? What tips do you have for other students? And then I'll click create topic. 
Now, I can Sorry guys. Now this is optional, but I can add a focus topic. What I like to do is to come in here and just record my own flip grid. So here we go. Giving me the three, two, one. My favorite way to manage stress is I like to do yoga at my house. What about you guys? It's the end of the term. It's a really stressful time. How do you manage stress? So there's my flip grid. I click next. Two, one. My favorite way. I approve it. And now it wants me to take a selfie. Done, looking lovely as always. You can see there are these fun stickers that you can add. Oh, oh, how can I not love that one? Put it right on my face there. Oh yeah, just pure lovely. And now it's preparing my Flipgrid. So that's what my students will see when they sign into this Flipgrid. And sometimes, especially with older students, if you're willing to be a little bit silly, they will too. All right, now I have all of these other options that I can use. One that I think is the most important for you to see is that you can moderate student videos, meaning you have to approve them one by one before they'll show up for other students. That may be something that's really important to you. The other thing I can control is if students can kind of go back and forth and record little videos and say, hey, I do yoga too, or I like to run um, and respond to student videos, you can turn that off or leave it on. It's really up to you. There are a ton of other features, but so far, so good. Then all you have to do is share it with your students and they can see this. One other thing that I wanted to show you I'm gonna go back to that Utah's Online Library favorite tool. If I come into this, I can make QR codes. Here they are for, oh, I don't wanna print them yet. For each of my students that participated. Now what's cool about this is you can um, attach these um, to artwork that they've made or put them on a wall in the hall on a bulletin board so everyone can see their thoughts um, on whatever the Flipgrid was. So I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at Flipgrid and I hope you enjoy using it to help you connect with your students and for them to connect with one another. Thank you.